everyone i hope everyone's having a good day and i'm just going to do a video on how i made a comic on procreate i hope that i'll have the time to always work on this because it's kind of like what several people would say is like a passion project and i guess you guys could could you know already see what the theme is and it's kind of like the future we're going into and you know what are you gonna do so here we go and you could see right here that i obviously did kind of a a sketch on procreate i was someone that was really against procreate at first because i was kind of like a, oh i want to do everything on studio clip or photoshop but then once i started using procreate and realized how user friendly it was how fun it was just in general it was relatively easy i was having a lot of fun now in this sketch right here i didn't really know what i was doing i just wanted to draw and what i wanted to draw was a girl that was you know she was going to have brown hair and with one of these robot dogs but then i made a little mistake i don't know what exactly happened but i put i think a fill or a filter on her hair and it ended up turning into this like really cool like gentle mauve color and I just thought it was awesome. And again right here you'll see that I I just like didn't know what I was going for. I was like changing her hair color and I didn't even think that I wanted to go with this neon theme where um, it was obvious that the robot and the girl would be like super standing out against like everything and I was just trying out filters and to make um, you know kind of like a cool neon retro vaporwave kind of theme and I just added this random text where she says the girl we don't really know her name where she just says, can we at least you know, go out for coffee? And then he says, okay. And I just think that's like a sweet thing. I don't know. Um, it's really ambiguous. We don't really know the whole entire story. Um, here's the next one. And in this drawing right here, I tried a little harder and I was really trying to figure out what I was doing so I kind of was being faithful to the robot theme and the girl and I this is when I decided okay her hair is going to be this like purple mauve color she's always going to be wearing some kind of pink the robot dog is always going to be yellow with some blue and his face was going to look a little bit kind of like a game boy i just like wanted all this stuff that people could relate to and then a classic background and then she says it's just you're always gone and he says i have a job which is true i mean there's some people that are always fucking working so i don't know what's wrong with girls getting mad i used to be like that so this is the next one so I hope by now I've kind of proven myself to to me that I, I could work a little harder and then achieve kind of like a full scale sink. So I kind of wanted, you know, the front and the middle and the background and I wanted her to have this little phone that looked just like her little robot dog and I feel like I'm going to add that later into the story and see how it is and I'm really trying to make myself do a whole scene rather than just a picture of a girl because I just think if I push myself a little more um, I can kind of make things happen as far as you know having a successful piece of work and then she just sees the robot and she goes he's back and because I think you know some people would be pretty excited to see these dogs And here I definitely have the theme where I totally decided that this dog was going to be part of 
some huge sheriff division in California, which if you guys don't know, or like Highway Patrol, I live in California and we got like really serious police here. And I know a lot of people like to say that it's not true, but it is in my opinion. Um, and so I just put Golden Gate Police. I haven't decided if I want to put Golden Gate Police or Golden State or just state police I'm not sure but this is the funny part where the dog kind of just sees the girl and he goes you're kidding like because she notices him through the window and I just thought that was funny and I hope everyone kind of just caught that right there where I know it's a lot of flashing I'm sorry about that but it's just me like going through filters to figure out which works because sometimes you know lightning the whole canvas doesn't work and I usually just take a picture of my mole skin which is what I have been doing but honestly I feel like you could draw on anything any piece of paper because it's gonna be digital it's gonna be you know here on you know this digital media so you don't you know you're gonna just, I'm gonna keep my papers but you know a lot of people just throw them away I know more people who throw away their work than actually keep it and this one I kind of spent a little longer on um, only because I was trying to figure out what I wanted I again I was kind of trying to challenge myself in making a full scale this is where I learned to kind of do a background um, and a foreground so the foreground is kind of I don't know I don't know the vocabulary but basically the front versus the back um, I was having trouble making highlights on the ocean because I had to like really go around the body so the robot dog and the girl and it took a lot of time just for that um, I started taking out some black lines because I noticed they were kind of harsh and I'm going to try to figure out a way to make some of the lines disappear because I kind of did like one color touching the other. Um, you can see there was a little empty spot in the back and that's why I added kind of a here. I wanted to do a Ferris wheel but I was getting kind of uh, impatient and I just wanted to finish this one. And then I added some pretty little things and this one she says, oh I really thought the mail was half off and he says it doesn't matter I pay, I always pay and I just thought that was funny because you know and this is the next one and this is the most recent one that I made today on well I think I started it on October 3rd and I finished today on the 4th which I think I might give myself two to three days working on these because one I want to you know think of um, like something I kind of want to be current so if you see right here everyone knows the news <laughs> it's the president who got sick uh, apparently he's doing better now so that's good for people who really like him and uh, you know it was kind of scary because a lot of people I know didn't really take the mask being serious and then they see that the president got sick and they're like oh shit maybe I should wear the mask so I kind of wanted to capture that in this one and I made her like all freaked out at the fact that a president got this crazy sickness and then she's kind of taking it serious and I hope that people will look at it and see it that way, but in the end, you know, um, I know that I'm just putting these comics and panels out and we don't really know if anyone's going to see them, um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to show how like she's kind of looking at the TV on the side of the building and then the dog that's like an officer is just, you know, staring forward. He doesn't even need to look at a screen. I'm sure that he has everything downloaded in his mind. Um, I'll go deeper into the story of the dog. Um, there's going to be different versions and stuff like that. And I'll, I just kind of want to keep things a little, you know, hidden and ambiguous before I keep going. But again, this is a passion project because I'm just having so much fun doing this. You can see here I was kind of experimenting with highlights and I thought it was really successful. So again, I was working more and more and more and more. And I like the highlights the most with the hair. And she says, scary. And then he says, oh, now you wear a mask, which I thought that was hilarious. Anyways, I hope everyone has fun. And I hope you guys have a good day.